It's never easy guiding over 20 tonnes of steel efficiently and correctly into place. But a little perseverance and patience ensured this bridge was carefully placed in its new and permanent resting position. In the end, the manoeuvre took less than half an hour. Adjacent to the Haypenny Bridge, it will feature a silver aluminium deck and an aluminium bronze handrail. Its architect believes its slender gradient makes it look graceful and elegant. But there is more to this bridge than its looks. It's very important that the bridge, if you like, has a conversation with the Haypenny Bridge, which is next to it. So in a sense, they have, uh, they have a, they, we were very sensitive about the location and about the, uh, making sure we didn't overpower the Haypenny Bridge. But also the bridge has very particular requirements. At the Haypenny Bridge you can't take wheelchairs or buggies across on, and this bridge you can. Those people viewing today's proceedings were also impressed. Very simple and elegant in design. It's very nice. I'd love to walk across it. I would, now. Officially the Millennium Bridge, it is yet to be popularly named. Well, I tell you, it should be named after a Dubliner anyway. That's right, that's my suggestion. Oh, I don't know. Jack Russell Bridge. <laughs> after your dog? Yeah. <laughs> This £1.5 million high-quality steel structure weighs 23 tonnes. Although now firmly in place, it won't be open to pedestrians until the end of December. Deirdre McCarthy, RTE News, by the River Liffey.